Welcome to iTrails Reading Tips. I'm Dee Kimbrell. You already know that reading is important to your child's success in school, and reading is a skill that will carry them far for the rest of their life. So how can you, as a parent, grandparent, or caregiver, support your child in the necessary steps that lead up to the day when your child proudly reads a book on their own? There are many things that you can do every day to help your child learn to enjoy reading and feel confident walking into their first day of kindergarten. Here are a few ideas to keep in mind. Even if English is not your first language or you don't feel comfortable reading, there are many ways that you can support your child's reading skills. First of all, having a variety of children's picture books available in the home for your child to look at whenever they want is a great way to say that reading is important. Perhaps you could keep a basket of books in the bedroom or for quiet time, or in the kitchen to read while you prepare a meal. How about visiting the public library to get a library card and allowing your child to check out their own books and participate in story hours? Perhaps one of the most satisfying ways that you can enjoy reading with your child without actually reading words is doing a picture walk. A picture walk simply means that you take a walk through the pages of a book and describe in your own words what's happening in the pictures. Include your child in the experience by asking your child what they think is happening in the picture and explaining why they made that decision. For instance, if your child said, this girl is really happy, ask them to show you the part of the picture where the girl looks happy. Ask if there are more clues in the illustrations about why she is happy. This simple activity helps to develop valuable thinking and language skills that are important for success in school. Some other ways to support reading skills are to review letters and their sounds, rhyming and sequencing, which simply means retelling a story in the order that it happened. Letters make up words, and it's important for children to begin to understand that each letter represents a sound. Begin by emphasizing the beginning letter sounds in your child's name. Everyone's interested in their own name. You can ask your child to listen for the sound as you read. For instance, if your child's name begins with a T, ask them if they hear the T sound in the title of the book, Trashy Town. Let them point to the letter and repeat the sound. Once they have mastered their first letter, move on to the rest of the letters in their name. They will soon begin to ask you what sounds other letters represent. By reading with your child, they begin to understand that letters and words on a page have meaning, and words on a page go from left to right and top to bottom. You can help point that out by following along the words you read with your finger for a few pages of each book as you read together. You can also find a simple word on the page that is repeated, such as and, the, or cat. Say the word as you point to it, and ask your child to find it again on the page. Soon your child will have a small list of words that they can recognize by sight. You can extend the learning from books by asking your child to look for letters or words on billboards or signs as you drive in the car. Begin with letters and build up to words. This activity develops confidence as your child recognizes letters such as STOP on a red sign and knows that means to stop. Reading isn't just limited to books. Words are all around us. Rhyming is a fun way to boost reading skills. After you've read a book like Miss Bindergarten Gets Ready for Kindergarten a few times, start with the phrase, Miss Bindergarten Gets Ready for Kindergarten, and pause before the word kindergarten so your child can fill in the blank. Repeat this pause whenever the phrase is repeated in the book. Once your child can do this easily, Pause at another phrase and let your child fill in the rhyming word. Rhyming is a fun way to boost reading skills. After you have read a book, like Miss Bindergarten Gets Ready for Kindergarten a few times, start with the phrase, Miss Bindergarten Gets Ready for Kindergarten, and pause before the word kindergarten, so your child can fill in the blank. Repeat this pause whenever the phrase is repeated in the book. Once your child can do this easily, Pause at another phrase and let your child fill in the rhyming word. Rhyming books give clues that make reading easier and also build confidence in new readers as they fill in the blank. 
Sequencing is a skill that simply means being able to recall the events of a story in order. This is an important skill in reading as we begin to make sense of the words we read. You can support your child in building this skill by asking questions during or after a story. You can stop in the middle of a story and ask what has happened so far. If they are having difficulty recalling the events, go back to the beginning and let them add a simple hand motion for each event. For example, if you're reading the story Road Work Ahead, let them create a motion for eating a cookie, operating a jackhammer, trimming trees, hanging lights. This physical action will help even especially active children to build the skill of recalling events and keeping focus. You've probably heard that reading every day is one of the most important things you can do to ensure your child's educational success. But with today's busy schedules, how can you make that happen? How much time do you think it takes to read an average children's book? If you're having trouble finding time to read to your child every day, you might be expecting it to take longer than it actually does. It's okay to start slowly and build up. A children's book can usually be read in five to 10 minutes. You can read a book as part of your nightly bedtime routine, your breakfast routine, or even downtime between errands can be used to enjoy a book. You can read a book while you're waiting on an older sibling to get out of football practice if you keep a few books in the car for your child to look at while you drive. Listening to audiobooks from the library as you drive is also a convenient way to build listening and reading skills. Once you've established your routine, you can add to the number of books you read as you find out how much your child enjoys this focused time with you. It has been said that readers are made in the laps of parents. The most fundamental thing that you can do to support your child being a reader is to make sure it's an enjoyable experience. Use silly voices for characters. Ask them questions. Let them sit in your lap and snuggle together while you read. And don't be afraid to stop in the middle if your child is not enjoying the story. You can always try it again later or try a different book. The key is keeping it joyful. Those happy experiences will build the desire to do it again and again. A child that loves to read will quickly transform from learning to read to reading to learn. Thank you for your interest in supporting your child's reading journey. This investment of time is one that will benefit your child well into adulthood. If you have more questions or suggestions for topics you would like to hear more about, please contact us at itrails.org. I'm Dee Kimbrell, and happy reading.